GMB, the Union for Private Hire and Taxi Drivers, working with the London Cab Drivers Club, has organized a demonstration calling it Uber to provide greater transparency. Around 20 London taxis descended on Brighton to challenge the working of the ride-sharing app. The London licence trade is coming to Brighton to make a point about the legality of the Uber app. We maintain it could be illegal. No licensing authority anywhere in the country or Transport for London will make a decision on whether it is illegal or whether it's legal, despite no numerous requests going on for months and months and months. We're not biased. Uber is welcome anywhere as long as they're on a level playing field with everyone else and as long as they're regulated and abide by the same decisions that everyone else and conditions that we all have to abide by and public safety is the top of the list with us guys. I'd be a liar if I said it didn't affect us but it's affected us a lot less than anywhere else in the country and also down here most of the time they're more expensive than the local licensed cabs. Young people can book and pay by app on whether they use any of the three Brighton companies it's not a unique thing Uber you know so I mean it's uh, you know you've got to accept innovation but the bottom line is whether they phone streamlined radio cabs or city cabs they can still book by an app you've got to bear in mind with Uber Uber claim not to be a transport company they're an app company well how an app company can collect 25% of a credit card you've got to ask yourself what service are they providing in which case why do they need a private hire operators license to operate in Brighton when they send Transport for London licensed private hire down here. We're hoping to make more people aware that if you're in Brighton and Hove and you, you book a cab with a Brighton and Hove company, you've got a driver and a vehicle that are licensed to the highest standards and public safety. You've got a vehicle that's got compulsory CCTV in. If you order a cab through one of the three companies, it's liveried, so that you've got identification there. And I mean on Streamline, if there was a problem with the cab or the driver, you've got enforcement officers in Brighton Hove that can actually enforce the complaint, they can investigate the complaint immediately and they can deal with it. If it was a Transport for London Uber car, Brighton Hove City Council do not have that power. So this is all about public safety, regulation and high standards for everyone. That's all we hope to achieve and the day is just an awareness day. The, the concept of Uber, the actual platform, is a great thing. We have that, we had that before Uber came along, before Uber got licensed in London. We had a thing called Halo, we also had Get Taxi, uh, we've always had the technology. But what Uber did was they came in and they had $65 billion worth of venture capital. Um, I think when I did the interview with Frank he referred to it as vulture capital. And they subsidised the rides, the rides, it's predatory pricing. They're cutting the fares by 50%, giving out discount vouchers. The drivers that drive for Uber are earning minimum wage and less. And that's before you take out their expenses. We can't compete with that. They can't earn a living. At the moment, people are, are getting in cars that these drivers are then going out and getting subprime loans, renting cars, buying cars. Um, but eventually, people will have to cut corners because you can't compete. And there are so many drivers in London with 100,000. You know, you've got 25,000 taxi drivers trying to earn a living. The, just the work is not there, and we're in period of austerity. This is Uli Ranieri for Latest TV News.